Hey guys, I'm Matt from MWA Woodworks, and in this quick tip video, I'm going to show you how to attach a tabletop to its base in a way that allows for proper wood movement. And to do that, I'm going to use these, Z-Clips. Z-Clips are easy to install, relatively cheap, and can be purchased online or in woodworking supply shops. And keep watching until the end of the video because I'm going to share a couple of things that I learned along the way. Now let's get started. <laughs> The first thing I need to do is to create slots in the aprons where the Z-clips will go. There's a couple ways to go about this that I've seen. If you haven't assembled your table yet, you can cut grooves all the way down the length of the apron using a table saw. If you've already assembled, like I have here, you can use a biscuit joiner and place the slots exactly where you want them to go. A biscuit joiner uses a small circular blade to plunge into your workpiece and create a slot. Oh, and make sure it's unplugged before you try this. Make sure to have your biscuit joiner set to cut number zero biscuit slots. These are the perfect size slots for your Z-clips to move in. Also, don't be lazy like me and skip the dust collection. These things will spit dust like an angry woodpecker. As far as I know, there's no hard and fast rule for how many Z-clips to use on your tabletop. I think it probably depends mostly on the size and how heavy the table is, and also how you anticipate things like the tabletop cupping or warping over time. I went with 12 on this table. It's not real wide, and the cedar is a relatively light wood species, so there won't be much strain on the top when I pick it up or move it around. Once I worked my way all the way around the apron making the slots, I flipped the base upside down on top of the tabletop and then centered it up on all sides. The next thing to do is to use a Z-clip to locate where the screws need to go into the tabletop. To mark the locations, I'm using an automatic center punch. All right guys, just a quick tip. If you don't have one of these, these automatic center punch, I highly recommend them. They are not that expensive and super handy when it comes to laying out where you want to put a screw. So I'll go ahead and leave a link in the description below if you want to get one. Next, I drill pilot holes for the screws. Now be careful not to drill straight through the tabletop here. You can use tape on the bit as a depth gauge or a stop collar if you need to. I can then place the Z-clips in the slot and drive the screws. Now I just repeated that process all along the sides of the apron until the top was secured in place. I also added clips inside the storage cabinet, but it was a little too dark and cramped for me to show you that on camera. Now, one thing that I noticed that I wanted to change was the screws that came with the Z-clips. They weren't very big and a couple even stripped out in the hole as I tightened them down. So I switched to using one and a quarter inch drywall screws which have a lot more holding power and my tabletop was thick enough at one and a half inches that I wouldn't go through the top of the table. Now you may have questions about whether or not to use Z-clips on the side aprons of your table. After all, we are using these to allow the table to expand and contract over time. And won't this prevent that from happening? And the answer, of course, is yes, if you install them completely flush up against the apron. What I would recommend doing when you install them is backing it off about an eighth of an inch or three sixteenths of an inch. And this will allow the table room to contract and expand as it needs to. Now you know that attaching a tabletop properly in a way that allows for wood movement is actually cheap and easy to do. Well, hey guys, that's it. I really hope you enjoyed this video, and most importantly, I hope you learned something new. And if you did, please leave me a thumbs up below and also leave me a comment to let me know your thoughts. Also, make sure to hit that logo icon to subscribe to my channel. I would really love to have you on board. And also make sure you hit that bell icon to be notified of my future videos when they're released. Also, I've got a couple other videos lined up here for projects that I think you guys would really enjoy, so make sure to check those out. And until next time, have fun in the shop.